Watch out for the train. When we think about the train of thought, what I'm talking about is your perception and the way that you process the events that you experience. We all go through different things and I call all of those things neutral events. That means that these events are not in and of themselves good or bad things, but how you think about those events can greatly determine your outcome. And so when we think about the train, normally when a train pulls up at a train station, some people get on, some people get off, and some people stand to the side and wait for the next train to come. The reason they do this is because this particular train is not going to a place that they want to go. They get to choose which train to get on and which train to let pass. But when we think about our train of thought, oftentimes we seem to get sucked into the train like a vacuum and we're stuck on the train. We can't get off. The train is speeding down the track and we don't know what to do. We're stuck on the train until it gets to the destination it's going or until it crashes. And oftentimes that train is going to a place that we don't want to be. So what we have to do is to be able to see the train ahead of time and make a decision whether or not to get on or to let it pass. We have that ability with our thoughts because our thoughts come from us and we get to choose how we think. If we're stuck in negative thoughts all of the time, then our experiences are going to be more negative in our perception. But they don't have to be that way because two people in the same situation could come out of that situation thinking and feeling totally different from each other. And that's because our thoughts and our emotions are directly connected. If you think negative, your experience will be negative. But if you think positive, your experience will be positive. And that's not to say that every experience should be a positive one and that we should only feel positive emotions because all of those emotions have a purpose and a reason for us. And so you just wanna make sure that your experience and your reaction is appropriate to the situation. That's all, it's not that difficult. There is a process to it and we call that cognitive restructuring. And so if you're used to thinking in a negative way, you have to reprogram yourself. You have to get off the train. If you find yourself on a train that you don't want to be on, please get off. If you don't know how, please ask for help. You're worth it. As always, fear nothing, assume nothing, take nothing for granted. All right, y'all, go be great.